What is up ladies and gents, please smash that sub button. We're trying to hit 1,000 subs and get 4,000 hours of view time so we can keep our ball rolling and monetize our channel. We can't keep putting out cool new content if you guys don't sub to us. So please sub to us, check out the rest of our channel, like, comment, subscribe. Check it out. And so our journey began in Frisco, Texas, where we met our client for the very first time. All right. So when we first arrived at the home, we spoke to the client about what he was looking for, and he said he wanted to implement circles and columns in some way. So we came up with a modern column design where the column spans from floor to ceiling and has a sheet of LED backlit plexiglass. And it's a vibrant modern look. It just is so cool and unique. We then did a tray drop down ceiling with a faux finish reflective metallic paint and then LED up lighting all around the room. And last but not least, we did these circles. These are coins, we're calling them. They drop down from the ceiling at various heights. They're professionally CNC built and then they were faux finished with metallics. They're then LED uplit and controlled by their own independent zone on the remote controller. All right guys, I'm gonna bring you through the wiring on this project. When we stepped on this project, we have 5.1.2 wired. So we had two overheads wired up in the top. They were in the wrong location, so we scrapped that wiring. We had three wired up front, which are now all behind the screen, as you can see in that picture. So we ran all new 12 gauge wire to the RF73s and to the RC64. We had to open this speaker up and climb inside this hole to access our other attic up top and then shoot the wires and run them back behind this wall. Uh, for the rears, those were actually the only thing wired in the proper location, so we used that existing wire for our THX 8000Ls in the back. Uh, we ran new 16 gauge wire for the side surrounds and we ran all new wire for our Pro 160s up top. As for the subwoofers, we ran gold-plated uh, subwoofer cables to the back 150 and to the 310i up front. And as for the, the LED modules, we had to run separate Cat5 lines all back to our rack. So we ran a line for each of our, our, col our plexiglass columns here. We ran two separate lines for the crown molding that's up overhead, and then each of our coins got its own separate line so we can send the signal so we can get a four zone control system in here. Our four zones are the screen, the plexiglass columns, the crown molding up top, and our coins. As for projection in our room, we did the Epson 6050, which is one of our favorite projectors aside from the Sony 295ES, but this projector is amazing for its brightness and contrast ratio. For the remote to control everything, we did the Logitech Pro, and for the receiver, we did the Yamaha 3080 to power everything in the room with the exception of the RF7s where we used the crown amplifier for that. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much to That Home Theater Dude for coming down and checking out this awesome project. We were very excited to show you what was up over here. We've got some DIYs planned and also some contests coming up pretty soon. Thank you very much, I appreciate it, and see you soon.